Facts First presents Some of the Strangest Things Found in the Middle of Nowhere There are places all over the world that have been abandoned. Some are picturesque, some have a great deal of history. When times change and people change, these spots become abandoned, left behind, forgotten. And when these places are forgotten, there are often things that get left behind, and some of those things might shock you. We have some of the strangest things that were found in the middle of nowhere. When you think about places you'd find a passenger jet, you think of airports. If you visit the outskirts of Kazan City, you can find one sitting right in somebody's backyard. The plane was first discovered by a few people walking by, and when word spread, more and more people were walking by trying to catch a glimpse of the jet. Many took photos, and some sent drones up to take pictures. Now, how somebody got it in such a tight space, we don't know. The fact that some of the moving parts still partially work is incredible. Devil's Bridge is located in Rakotsbruck in Autumn, Germany. The bridge was built by a man in the 19th century, and it is incredible. When the bridge reflects on the water, it creates an illusion of a complete circle. The way the bridge was built is so challenging it's believed the devil would have had to help with the construction. The legend says the devil helped to build the bridge in exchange for the soul of the first person who crossed it, which is where it got its name. To preserve the incredible structure, it's illegal now for anybody to cross this abandoned bridge. That's not stopped people from photographing it, though, and even creating some incredible paintings of it. The Fukushima catastrophe in 2011 is one of the greatest disasters in Japanese history. When an earthquake and a tsunami hit the region in March of 2011, over 300,000 people had to be evacuated. The earthquake caused damage to a nuclear power plant, and the leak forced everyone in Fukushima to remain in their evacuated location. Here's a photo of a store that has been completely abandoned. Inside was over $135,000 worth of gaming consoles and other goods. The cash register is still full of money and the vending machines still stocked. Today, it just looks like an eerie ghost town. This abandoned castle is located on an island on Lake Lukey in Roscommon, Ireland. It was built during the 12th century, and in 1184, a fire broke out. Most of the people in the castle either burned to death or they drowned. There were a few survivors, including Conchabar Mac de Armada and some of his people. A few years later, a new castle was built. This new castle was not home to anyone for very long, though, because in 1586 the McDermott's lost control of the island and it was abandoned. Soon it became damaged by the ivy that covers its walls. The castle remains abandoned today, and in 2014 it was used in a show called Moon Boy. In 2016, Bob Geldof visited the castle for a BBC documentary on Yates, who loved the castle and its folklore. Bob hoped to turn the castle into a piece of Irish culture and heritage by restoring it, but it still remains abandoned and in ruins today. There are plenty of things hidden under the sea. One impressive hidden gem is a bronze statue located over 49 feet under the water. It's a statue of Jesus Christ which was created by sculptor Guido Galletti. The statue is supposed to look like Jesus Christ, looking up toward heaven, offering peace and there were originally three statues like this placed in the water. The statue was the first one built, and it was placed in the spot where the first Italian scuba diver, Dario Gonzati, died. The statue was removed in 2003 so that it could be repaired. It corroded a lot over time. In July 2004, though, it was returned to its place in the sea. The Kijanuba Leisure Land was first opened in 1979, and every year 200,000 people visit. The amusement park not only had fun rides, but it also had accommodations allowing you to stay in the park. If visitors enjoyed camping, they could stay at campsites or in small huts. If not, they could stay at a hotel in the park. The park closed for good, though, in the year 2000, and the owner didn't abandon the park entirely. He remained there so he could drill for hot water, and he left the Ferris wheel intact. It still stands there today, but it doesn't work. The Swingers Tiki Palace is located in the Smoky Mountains in Chattanooga, Tennessee. The home was originally the dream house of Billy Hull, a strip club owner. He had the house built during the 70s. The house had three bedrooms, two and a half baths, a Playboy bunny pool, and a jacuzzi and sauna for 12 people. 
He installed mirrors all over the house, and there's a TV in every room, along with an intercom system. When Billy hired somebody to shoot his wife's boyfriend, he was found guilty of murder and sentenced to 20 years in prison. The house was listed for sale in 2014 and was left abandoned. By 2015, it had been severely vandalized and went into foreclosure. The city seized the property for unpaid taxes and it was finally demolished on September 7, 2017. In Chatillon, a small village in Belgium, there lies an abandoned car graveyard. Each of the cars once belonged to U.S. soldiers. During World War II, the soldiers were in Belgium, and there they were able to obtain cars. When the war ended, the soldiers returned home and left those cars behind because they didn't want to pay the cost of shipping. Instead, they drove their cars to the countryside and parked their vehicles at the top of a hill where nobody could see them. Over time, though, nature has taken over and the cars have been covered in moss. Most of the vehicles have been removed. Thieves stole some others. Mount Sinabung is a volcano in the village of Karo, Indonesia, and it remained inactive for years. People built homes and even a church at the base of the volcano. In 2010, for the first time in 400 years, though, the volcano erupted. It's remained active ever since, and in 2015, thousands of residents had to abandon their homes and move to refugee camps. The area is very dangerous, and many residents have chosen to move on. A few brave souls have returned to the villages to try and go back to their old lives. The Selma Plantation Estate in Virginia was once a popular and busy place. When the owners died, the estate changed hands several times. A fire destroyed the home, and the new owner chose to restore it. When the owner was forced to abandon the estate, nature took over. Birds moved inside, weeds took over, and in 2016, a London-based entrepreneur, Sharon Wirtz, bought the estate with her husband, Scott Miller. The couple started to make plans to preserve it as a piece of history and make the estate their family home. Under the surface of the water in the Antarctic is the 76-foot-long Marsem Finn, a Brazilian research vessel. The ship was forced to battle winds of 60 miles per hour, leaving the boat trapped in ice in Maxwell Bay, King George Island. It's located 745 miles south of the tip of South America. The incident took place in April 2012, and although the ship sank, the crew managed to evacuate just in time. The ship still lies under the water today. This abandoned hut is located in the Berchtesgaden National Park in Germany. It was built on Obersee Lake, and it was abandoned. Today it's falling apart. Nobody knows who the hut belonged to, and many assume the owner has died and the cabin has been forgotten. This yellow house in Nova Scotia was once beautiful, surrounded by dandelions. Today it is abandoned, and it now looks like something from a horror movie. Nobody knows who owned the house, but the reason it was abandoned is probably because of the economy. The area of Nova Scotia lacked the opportunity for growth, and there were no jobs. When the kids who lived in the area grew up, they moved away, leaving their parents and their homes. When the parents passed away, many houses were left abandoned, just like this one. In 1910, 360 people were living on Holland Island. Back then, it was the most populated island on the Chesapeake Bay. There were many luxurious homes like this one, along with shops, a church, and a school. Over time, erosion began to cause significant damage to the island. In 1914, the residents had to have stones shipped in to stop the erosion. They even sank ships to slow the erosion process down. Unfortunately, nothing worked and many residents were forced to tear their homes down and relocate. In 1918, a tropical storm hit and damaged the church. The last residents left the island in 1922. In 1995, Stephen White, a Methodist minister, bought the land for $70,000. He hoped to preserve its legacy, and he called it the Holland Island Preservation Foundation. Sadly, he couldn't stop the erosion, and the island shrank by 20 acres during the 15 years that he owned it. This house was built in 1888, and it is the last home standing on the island. It's been abandoned for years. Subscribe for more.